Hello, my name is Piper, clown and ASM artist. Today I'm going to be reading to you from my favorite book, one of my favorite books, A Field Guide to Lucid Dreaming. I've read from this book before, but if you aren't familiar with that video or with lucid dreams in general, let me give you a little explanation, I suppose. Lucid dreaming is when you're dreaming and you wake up in your dream. You're aware that you're dreaming while you're dreaming. And it is, which I'm speechless, it's sensational. Um, and I used to be able to do it naturally, but I lost the ability as I grew older. And this book, with all of its techniques, helped me to regain the ability on occasion. And what I'm going to read to you, I found particularly helpful. This is what works for me most of the time as opposed to the other techniques. This chapter is called The Reality Check. But before that, well, I wish I could get your opinion in real time. I wasn't sure if I should wear the glove or my shiny nails. I do like the long sleeve to show off that it's a sweater. Do you like it? Designed it myself. There is something fun about a long, dramatic glove, though. But I suppose we can split the difference and move on to the field guide to lucid dreaming. We open with a quote from Douglas Adams Reality is frequently inaccurate. How do you know that this isn't a dream? You might say, well, of course I'm awake. I can see a world around me, smell things, touch and taste the external world. I'm sitting here reading this book, damn it. This is good evidence, but we're afraid it's not enough. If you were in a dream right now, it'd feel just as real. All that clever evidence you had, sight, touch, taste, smell, sound, all that exists in the dream world, too. The multi-sensory experience, the authenticity of emotions, the solidity of our surroundings, all these elements are so convincing that it doesn't occur to our brain that we're in a dream. This is why recognizing the dream state takes an inquisitive mind. This chapter is about training your mind to be inquisitive. So stop for a moment right now and look around you. Really check this time. Is it possible that you're dreaming? Test it to make sure. Can you push your finger through your hand? Can you pass through a solid object? If you jump, do you float down? By asking this question, you're performing what is called a reality check. And the beauty of it is this. By asking yourself the question, am I dreaming throughout the day? You will begin to ask the same question while in a dream. Your suspicion of reality will echo into your sleep, bouncing around your mind until voila, you find yourself in the mecca of your own psyche. Reality checks are another cornerstone of lucid dreaming. If you stop and think about it, you can usually tell if you're dreaming or not. The trick is stopping and thinking about it. It may sound crazy to ask this question when you know for sure that you're awake, but your feelings of lunacy will be justified when you have your first lucid dream. Soon enough, you'll perform a reality check in a dream and realize, wait a second, it worked. I am dreaming. 
this sudden realization will be so amazing that it will validate all of your efforts to practice during the waking state. Physical tests. In order to perform a reality check, you not only need to ask the question, am I dreaming? But you also have to answer it. And how do you answer your own question since the dream state likes to trick us and disguise itself as real? Fortunately, over the years, the lucid dreaming community has developed some clever double checks. Make sure to always perform a physical test as well. Some standard physical tests are the finger. Can you pass your finger through the palm of your hand? In a dream, this is possible. The hand. Do your hands look normal? Do they have as many fingers as they're supposed to have? The jump. Jumping is not only a, a hell of a lot of fun, but a great reality check. If you jump, do you float down? Is there an absence of gravity? In dreams, floating is absolutely possible. As a stepping stone, try floating before you fly. The nose. When you hold your nose, can you still breathe? Most lucid dreamers find this to be the most reliable evidence that they're dreaming. The mirror. Does your reflection look normal? Reading. Can you read the same sentence twice without it changing? Can you read the same sentence twice without it chongling? Personally, I've found the finger tests to be particularly helpful, as well as looking at my watch and seeing if the numbers are all funny. A second physical test may be necessary. Sometimes your first test doesn't work, fooling you into thinking you're awake when really you are in a dream. This has happened to me before on an airplane. Um, anyways, <laughs> when to perform a reality check. If you ask yourself throughout the day a golden question, it will eventually trickle into your dreams. This is why the reality check is one of the easiest and most rewarding techniques you can try. The question is easy to ask, but turning it into a habit can be a bit challenging for some. Try it out for the next three days, five to ten times a day. Take on this simple habit for even a short period of time. It can spark your first lucid dream. If you need help reminding yourself to do the check, here are some helpful habit creating tips. One, set an alarm on your cell phone every hour or two as a reminder to perform a reality check. illustrations. Didn't want you to think that I was just skipping a page. Two, perform a reality check. Choose one or two of the following lists. Every time you answer your phone, every time you walk through a doorway, every time you see a dog, after every meal, every time you change locations, something strange happens, every time you hear music, every time you smell something delicious, or when you're in an emotionally engaging situation. Three, use dream signs. Remember those recurring symbols from your dreams? The dream signs that popped up in your journal in the prior chapters of the book that we are not reading right now? Here's where they come in handy. Perform a reality check every time you see a dream sign in waking life. If, for example, a dog appears often in your dreams, when you see a dog at any point, stop for a moment and do a reality check. Am I dreaming? If you often dream about a friend or a sibling, practice for the next three days by doing a reality check every time you see or think of them. Since they are recurring symbols in your dreams, it's very likely that you'll spot a dream sign while in the dream world. Perform a reality check and become lucid. Becoming present. 
like the check engine light on your car's dashboard, reality checks will alert you when something is out of the ordinary. By asking the question during your waking hours, not only will the practice carry over into your dreams, but it will also have a powerful effect on your waking awareness. By taking a moment and observing the world around you, you will be brought into the moment, be more present, and increase your self-awareness. Much of our days is filled with a constant jabbering going on in our heads. A reality check is a great way to take us out of the zombie mode, allowing us to achieve an expanded awareness throughout our daily lives. Use it as an opportunity to come back to the present moment. Look around and see the nice things that surround you. The waking world can be a real trip too. And to close out the chapter, we have a summary. You begin your dialogue with the dream world while you are awake with reality checks. By asking yourself throughout the day, am I dreaming? You will soon ask the same question while in a dream. Yes, I am dreaming this time. As you pose the question, perform a physical check as well. Perform a reality check five to 10 times a day at regular intervals. Use a consistent occurrence to remind yourself to perform a reality check, such as every time you see a dog. And that brings us to the next section of the book, Arrival. Let me know if you experience lucid dreams or if you would like to and I will read more from this book. And if you're just listening to my voice to help drift you off to sleep, I hope you have sweet lucid dreams and I hope you have a wonderful morning. I'm the first to tell you. <laughs> All right. Until next time, I wish you sweet, lucid dreams.